Hello and welcome to an all new Geek World Order video. Randy here and today we have another toy review up on deck. We are looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Quick Kick figure. This figure features some new molding and some new features here. So let's take a look at this figure. As you can see, he is a very poseable six inch figure, standard articulation, and he's just got this pose. He's ready to, he's concentrating. He's getting ready to go into battle. But he's got your double jointed knees, your thigh swivels, your, your standard feet articulation, the drop hip. <clears throat> he does feature this muscular torso as he is a shirtless figure because you know ninja's just going around shirtless with a sash on but he does have his traditional sash and you can definitely see the you know just your standard gi joe classified series articulation the butterfly joint for the shoulder full rotation you know the the all your different swivels your double your double jointed elbow And he does have some good actioning poseability. You can really see a lot of the neck muscles in the figure, how just kind of how everything works there. Standard heart articulation. So there's this is the head that comes in the box. He does have another head. And we'll take a look at it there. It's kind of got this whistling expression. Um so yeah, might be a little hard to tell the face apart. I, it took me a minute to realize like they weren't the same head. The the hair's flowing a little more. He's whistling in this one, but overall, I wish that the second head was a little more expressive, uh, because his artwork on the box actually has kind of this screaming action pose. I kind of wish this was the second head look. I think it would have been a little bit more dynamic in the options you have to pose him so he's got your standard trigger c-grip kind of hands he's got a karate hand now he does come with you know two of each the left and the right for each one there it is um he also comes with closed punching fists so he does have some different articulation options as far as what you can do with him. And he does come with some accessories. One of the things you can do, he has this um, kind of a blue plastic with a shuriken peanut on it. So basically what you can do is you can kind of, you can give him the action like he's throwing, you know, the, the shuriken. So a little bit of a play accessory there. Something you can use for your figure photography. Um, the belt is on there. Um, it doesn't unfasten. So you pretty pretty sure you can take it off when you pull the head. Yeah. So if you want to get the detail there. And it does go over the the peg very easily. So switch it up, the other head there. No. He does have these slots on the back, which you can put these in because he has All right, that's not bad. I thought it was going to be a little more difficult given the the soft, the nature of some of the soft plastic that Hasbro uses. That was a little, a little rough, but not terrible. Uh, but he does have some nunchucks. You can put them in the grip hands. There, and if you have the other hand, you can kind of do and go. Put the secret. Actually, I think I'll put the other C gripped hand here because just have a little more since we're kind of getting into some of the weapons. So 
So he can, of course, hold both. So yeah, he can hold them, but he does have two slots on the back, which is nice. I do appreciate that, that it's going to be, oh, this is going to be the one that's the pain, isn't it? Sorry, I just want to get these in here because... Has. So he does have the standard backpack hole, and he does have this nice red backpack, and there is some nice molded detailing with the clasp, the pockets, got a couple of slots there. Oh, I guess that's the top of the backpack. Oh, actually, I guess I had it upside down. Yeah, that makes a little more sense now that I can actually see the detailing. Yeah, there's the flap. Okay, main part of the backpack. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, this is... Okay, there we go. So reason it took me a second to get that one lined up completely correct. Um, so he does have these uh, katanas. All right, so yeah, he's got those. And there are two slots. You can, you have two of them. They go right there. Um, But probably the best accessory on this figure, and really the one that kind of cemented it when we saw the pre, like the renders go up, was that Quick Kick came with, he came with the fudgy bar. So if you'll remember from uh, the Pyramid of Darkness miniseries, uh, which is where he was introduced along with his good buddies, Alpine and Bazooka, you know that the character of Quick Kick in the cartoon was a stunt actor. He was doing commercial work, which why was he doing commercial work in the Arctic for a candy bar and literally not wearing a shirt or shoes in the Arctic? But yeah, he's got the fudgy bar. So, you know, he was doing his fudgy bar commercial. Uh, oh, there we go. So. Yeah. Fudgy bars, baby. It's where it's at. So yeah. I just think that this great nod to the overall continuity of G.I. Joe the cartoon, and you just try to, these classified figures just try to mix so many elements between the cartoons, the comics, just the different pieces of lore, and honestly, giving Quick Kick the fudgy bar was honestly the chef's kiss on this toy. I think... Honestly, I love when they do fun accessories like that, and yeah, dude... The fudgy bar might be just a top-tier accessory for me when it comes to these classified figures. Absolutely love it. And I love this figure. It's great. We get some cool things. But yes. Oh, yeah. And, but yeah. I didn't, forgot to, almost forgot that. But yeah, no, we have, like, legit feet. Because Quick Kick doesn't wear boots. So we have a very detailed foot. Um... It is a little hard to tell, I think, with the lights here, but yeah, you can tell. There are toenails. So, like, you definitely see, like, the thin parts of the foot where you might see a little more of the bone. Th there are definitely toenails on here. So, I will say I do appreciate that detail. That is just fantastic. I'm just going to put him here in this pose.
So he's kicking. He's eating his candy bar. He's just having a good old quick kick time. But I think that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please leave a like on the video. Comment on the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Just please do all those things that help the algorithm out. And I'll see you all in the next one.